I will submit to you quite the opposite is happening. Uh, first, uh, well, obviously, you know, civilians are suffering uh, in Mariupol right now. I mean, this is no idle matter for me, okay, where I am right now. I had a lady come to me. She's, you could probably hear her. She's broken down in tears. Tatiana, I want you to hear the, this lady's tears. What is happening in Mariupol right now as we're speaking, sitting in our comfortable offices, is absolute uh, Chechnya. It is Aleppo. It is Stalingrad. People are trying, there's 200,000 hostages, essentially, that, that the Russian forces have surrounded. They're shelling the city. They're starving these people. And you know why that's happening? Because Putin is clearly not achieving any military victory. He thought he would just walk into Ukraine, waltz in, and be greeted with flowers. Everyone hates Russia in Ukraine. Everyone hates Putin. They you as Indians understand what it is like to live in a democracy. Once you've lived in a democracy, even with a neighbor like China, you Indians do not want to be a part of China. Imagine if China wanted to take over India. Indians would die, would fight to the last man to protect their democracy. And this is what's happening with Ukraine. As imperfect as we have our democracy, it's a democracy. We do not want a gulag. And that's what Russia is turning under uh, Putin into. You know, And so uh, Putin is desperate. He wants to bring Ukrainians to their knees and he's shelling civilians. This is the most cowardly, cowardly way to, uh, you know, to wage a war. He is earning eternal shame and domination for his people, for, for, for generations to come people. This is what's happening. Are you finished? Can I step in, Peter? Tatiana, why, is, yes. why, why are civilians being targeted? Why are civilians being targeted? Yesterday I did ask a Russian panelist that have you fallen short of Russians that you are now depending on, 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 on Syrians to fight for you and now why are civilians being targeted? Oh, no, nobody's depending on Syrians to fight for us first of all. Second of all uh, I love the fact that they did educate them. Them very well in the US you know, them. That to, to portray this you know to transmit this lovely um, yeah it's like a script seriously uh, what's happening in Mariupol and what we've been observing for, first of all, let's start from the beginning. Mariupol is the hometown of the notorious Azov Battalion. Uh, you know, the Azov Battalion, you know, the neo-Nazis that are wanted for war crimes in Europe, not just, you know, it's not just Russia who's talking about them committing war crimes. So hopefully, Peter, you know, obviously the Russian uh, side is of no relevance to you personally. You know, you're playing for the different side, but it's the Europeans who are admitting that the Azov Battalion is guilty of war crimes and crimes against humanity. You can check this out. You know, maybe it will help you. You get a better understanding of what's going on in Mariupol. We hear from civilians within the city, you know, that this Azov Battalion, they're putting missile launchers on top of buildings. They're literally, you know, they're not letting civilians out. Nobody's targeting civilians. Nobody has targeted civilians so far. And uh, as to the remarks that, you know, President Putin wanted to go in and out. Well, look, again and again and again, if somebody wanted to get in and out, we would just bomb it to the ground. The Russian army is more than capable of doing to Ukraine what the U.S. had done to Iraq, what they had done to the parts of Syria that they fought in. Uh, the Russian army military within this operation has been adamant about the importance. I did not interrupt you, so you're not going to interrupt me, Peter. Can you stay quiet for one minute? Oh, thank you very much. That's lovely. Uh, the civilian population of Ukraine, specifically of Mariupol, I literally have people that I know personally there, and they've, they've confirmed it, that the Azov Battalion they are in the hospitals and then they stage it to look like it's been, you know, a hospital has been bombed by Russians, which is preposterous. There are fake news that are being, that are being broken down to pieces, you know, daily. We daily, we see, we see the same actors being shown as, you know, Russian soldiers captured by the Ukrainian forces. We see bloggers being photographed in maternity wards. And for some reason, you know, there's a maternity ward with just one pregnant woman in it that happens to be a Ukrainian blogger. And she happens, just happens to be there photographed, leaving it. Uh, it is so disgusting what the Ukrainian side is doing in Mariupol. And I think that you should be ashamed of what you're saying, 
right now, Peter? Let me say something. Let me say, do I still have a, a right to reply? Yes. You should ask uh, our moderator. I mean, uh, this is, okay, Tatiana, uh, the entire world is seeing what they're seeing, okay? The footage that is being shown in between us on the screen right now is footage provided by Indian TV crews, uh, colleagues of our host here. Uh, they are filming it. Are you going to tell them that, what, they're being duped by Ukrainian uh, actors? Uh, they are demolishing buildings just uh, so that the Indian crew uh, has the wrong idea of what's happening. The entire world is seeing it, except you Russians, you know. You cannot fool everyone. You can try to impose a blockade on the Russians, and that's what's happened, to prevent them from getting the information. But everyone is seeing it. Why are you telling us that the sky is yellow if we're all seeing it, that it's blue, all right? And one more thing, you compared it, you, you keep trying to bring this kind of parallels and poke Americans in the eyes. I'm not going to defend Americans and their adventures in Iraq, okay? Don't pin me to that, you know? By the way, I'm half ethnic Russian, and right now I'm ashamed of that half, okay? Uh, but I'm not going to justify every uh, misadventure America's had. This does not exonerate uh, what Russia is doing right now. Two wrongs don't make a right. The big difference right now when it comes to Putin's own propaganda is that, okay, America was getting involved in, uh, you know, in, in the Middle East. He was not getting involved in the brotherly nation of Canada, let's say. Putin proclaimed that Ukrainians are their own people. And now he's bombing them because they did not greet him with flowers. That is the end of the Russian Where idea, guys. Russia is not going to, Russia is not going to outlive this bloody tyrant. This is the end of the Russian project, Tatiana. You better be looking for a job. You're already out of a job. They, they shut down Sputnik. They shut down Russia today as the worst kinds of propaganda. You are enabling a dictator. Do you understand that with every passing day, you're earning, you know, uh, you know they're collecting evidence against you. You and Simonyan and all these people are going to be tried in military court. You're still young. You're going to see that day. You're going to get, you're going to be tried, okay? Putin's going to be run out of town. You will be held accountable. You better think about it now. I appeal to you, stop covering up this bloody dictator who is like our 30, 21st century Hitler. I see perfect parallels between uh, Putin and Hitler. Being under no illusion that this is anything else. This is pure evil and it has to be destroyed. This evil has to be destroyed. Tanya, you are enabling evil right no, don't, now. Think don't about Tanya it. me. This is, this is disrespectful. I've only seen you twice it's and you, it's the truth. you know. It's the truth. What, the truth? What is the truth? That I'm out of the job. What is the truth? That, right. That you're the literally truth. That's what your Russians are trying to tell the world. There's no truth. You're trying to create this reality where there's like no truth. Everyone has a right to his own, you know, ideas. Please, you know, you can have the right to your own, lies. you know, facts. No, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. There are facts and there mm -hmm. are lies. And Russia is an empire mm -hmm. of lies. And it's been exposed. And the entire world has hate Russia. Why? Yeah. Why? It's not just sense. American and Anglo-Saxons. It's everyone. Everyone has turned on Russia. Everyone is the most toxic name in the world right now to be Russian. It's a fact. Tanya. Again, don't Tanya me. We don't know each other on a personal level. So I would, I would ask of you to use my full name because I did not allow you to use my, my, my name in a shortened version. First of all, and I don't care how old you are. Second of all, uh, the whole world, minus China, minus India, minus the whole of Asia and the whole of the Middle East, uh, is not the whole world. And this is exactly what we're talking about here. You know, the end of the world order where the whole world is limited to the US and the countries that follow its every footstep. And it is ending, whether you like it or not. We're getting more and more evidence every single day of the fact that the Ukraine was, was swarming with weaponry, was preparing for a full-on assault on the Donbass region to annihilate the, the whole of the civilian population of that region. That, oh, by the way, but you're calling it an anti-terrorist operation. You're not calling it civil war, even. You know, because obviously you're such a democratic country where killing 13 13,000 people is, it's an anti-terrorist operation. Uh, don't you dare talk about Chechnya and disrespect the intellect of the people who are here on this panel 
and compare Chechnya to Stalingrad and Stalingrad and Chechnya to Ukraine. The Russian military has been and will be targeting the Nazi formations in Ukraine. Hopefully, this is going to end soon. But I'm very sure that until the last of the Azov Battalion and the right sector and the crimes that they've committed are very public, Peter, I hope that you can use Google well enough and there's still, obviously, there's still internet in Ukraine, if you're still in Ukraine, then you can Google them if you don't know about them. So stop talking about a democracy. I know for a fact firsthand how they hunted down Russian speakers in Mariupol, how the right sector was hunting down Russian speakers in 2014 in Kharkov. I know this because I know people who were there and I know people who were tortured. No, I'm not going to let you speak. So this is... And I'm also, you know, we're, we agree on something for, for once. I'm also ashamed of that Russian part of you. There is a very, very nice development, I find, between the two of us that I, I'm also deeply ashamed about that ethnic Russian part of you. Because you sold your soul to the American propaganda and you dare talk about my job. <clears throat> Might you find out right now that Sputnik and RT have not been banned in the US, first and foremost. They're not banning us. They just made Europe ban us. No, so we're going to make them ban you. Thank you. Thank you for the reminder. I will make sure that they will ban you. Please you do. Know? Please call uh, your employers let, in let the US. Let me just interject. Tatiana, Tatiana, uh, uh, once again, we, we talked about it in previous uh, programs. You said you know someone from Donbass. I am from Donbass. I'm a You're not from Donbass. When Russian. was the last time I'm you were there? I'm a Russian speaker from Donetsk, okay? My mother was living up there up until 2015. Do not tell me about any persecution. My family was living there. I am from there. This is a pure fabrication and a lie. None of it happened, period, okay? None, folks, none, zero. Complete fabrication. You, you go to Kiev, people still mouth. speak in Russian. I, I everywhere, everywhere in Ukraine, people speak Russian. The president is a Russian speaker and is Jewish. And you want to denazify him? Are you, are you ridiculous? Do you think the world will, will buy into this? Only the Russians, who you have put an informational blockade on, you, you deprive them of all sources no of objective information. They can believe that. No one believes you because everyone knows it's a lie. It's, ridic it's also a ridiculous lie. You know, completely ridiculous. I don't think. Uh, you know. I don't think Tatiana, Tatiana or or Peter that I will get you to agree on two perspectives.